Hi, it's Mike, and um, I'm having some problems with my, with my laptop, so I thought I'd try and show everyone what the symptoms are, so maybe someone knows what's wrong with it. So I've just moved it off my desk because the sun was in my eye, so it's on the chair now. So I'll try and turn it on. Press the power key. Everything looks fine so far. Just asking if I want to start Windows in normal mode. I'll click yes. It's starting Windows. It's Windows 7, the original version that you can't get in the shops. It's not a pirate copy, so everything should be fine. This is the login window. Everything looks okay so far. I just type the password in and I'll click enter. It says welcome. Circles going around right beside it. And nothing seems to be happening. The HDD access is kind of flashing at exactly one second intervals and it still says welcome. Oh, the screen's gone black as if, it, as if it was trying to display the desktop but it's not displaying it. HDD access is still flashing at exactly one second intervals. You might not be able to see that in the video. Flash, 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 flash. So that's how it's flashing. And nothing's happening. Nothing's loading up. Mouse seems to be moving. If I press control, circles the mouse, let's try if mute key works. Mute key doesn't work, so that proves that the operating system is frozen entirely, caps lock. That works, which proves that nothing on the inside of the computer is wrong. So yeah, this is my problem. It's not loading up anything, and it does this about 9 times out of 10 startups, which is a bit of a pain. It's been like this for months. I've tried to format the hard drive, reinstall Windows 7, and I get the same problem over and over again. So, has anyone got any ideas what might be the problem here? Because I can't really use my laptop anymore. Which sucks. Well, thanks for watching, and any ideas, please write in the comments below. Cheers.